Hello, I'm Debu Tripathi, Editor-in-Chief of Cura Magazine, and I'm here at San Antonio at the very beginning of the meeting, and as usual, there's a buzz with people from all over the world coming. It's always such an international uh, audience and a very engaged audience, a lot of questions being asked to the investigators. So it's really an opportunity not only to exchange information, but to hear what our colleagues think about. Uh, the different trials that are being presented. The first one that was presented was the first presentation of an eagerly awaited trial looking at more than the usual five years of tamoxifen. So we have been using tamoxifen as hormonal therapy to lower the risk of recurrence after treatment for early stage breast cancer for several decades now. We know that it's a very effective drug. It cuts the recurrence rates uh, by about half. And we also know that it works mostly in patients that have estrogen receptor positive cancers. And also, we know that five years appears to be the best uh, time frame to take it. It's been shown to be better than one year or two years. Uh, but the remaining question is, after those five years, what do you do? Uh, patients are still at risk for recurrence after those five years. And uh, there has been a lot of interest in knowing whether we can go beyond five years. And there have been smaller studies that have been done over the last few years that have not really given us a clear answer. So. Uh, about uh, 10 years ago, or almost 15 years ago really, uh, uh, individuals in, the, uh, in, in England uh, decided to put together a worldwide trial comparing 5 versus 10 years. And um, at the point at which the doctor felt that they would normally stop tamoxifen, which was typically 5 years, they would be randomized to stopping then or go for a full 10 years. So it wasn't exactly 5 versus 10, it was when the physicians thought someone should stop, but mostly it was 5 versus 10. And what it showed is that there was was about a 3% drop in the mortality rate and about a 3 to 4% drop in the recurrence rate. And it did not become apparent until about 10 years later after the randomization. Uh, so it was a delayed effect. And so this is good news. What it means is that we do have another tool for longer term therapy that can further lower the risk of recurrence. Now it mostly pertains to women who are still premenopausal still having menstrual periods after their five years of tamoxifen because otherwise we would use a new class of drugs called aromatase inhibitors. So now when women hit the five-year mark of tamoxifen, they should definitely check with their doctors to see if more hormonal therapy might be indicated in their case. This is really a practice changing uh, finding and the full publication uh, will be out very soon.